Hello. To you all, thank you so much for joining us in today's online session. As usual, my name is Sachi Satmer Dapel, I'm a Cisco instructor trainer and a Cisco Academy instructor as well. And today I'll be taking you on the overview of CCNA1, otherwise known as Introduction to Network version seven. In the next few uh, days, uh, probably a week or two, I'm going to be looking at the introduction to network um, uh, lectures. And I would want you to subscribe to this uh, channel and uh, uh, click like so that the moment I upload each of the models, you are going to get an instant notification. All right, so today I, we are going to be looking at the overview of uh, introduction to network. What are we expecting to see? Are you new into the networking field? Uh, is this your first time learning about the concept of networking? I tell you that this is the right place, okay? Now, in the Cisco Networking Academy, we have the curriculums that have been designed and planned in order to give skill acquisition and technical know-how and overview to the participant or to the student. The courses in the CCNA version seven help students to develop a very comprehensive foundation for designing and securing, operating and troubleshooting modern computer networks on the scale from small business networks to enterprise network with an emphasis on hands-on learning and essential career skills. So this is basically what the entire program is all about and uh, Let's see how much we can get from it. All right, so sometimes the course also helps us to prepare our career, okay? So by the end of the entire CCNA course uh, series, students will actually gain practical and most importantly, what? Hands-on, hands-on experience, preparing them for the CCNA certification exam and career-ready skills for associate level roles in the information and communication technology industry. So Cisco has great track records in giving us this particular series. So this series has three courses all in all. We have the introduction to network, which is what we're going to be looking at. We also have CCNA2, which is routing and switching wireless essentials. Then we have CCNA3, which is enterprise networking security and automation. Now, for those of you who may be familiar with Cisco previously, previously we have four courses, but now it has been condensed into three. There's so much technology that has been introduced. There's so much uh, changes that and updates that have been done and so many labs for us to do. So we're going to be looking at hands-on lab and Cisco packet tracer network simulation activities. We're also going to be having video activities, quizzes uh, to reinforce our, our learning process. Now, for this particular course that we're looking at in CCNA1, which is introduction to network, this is the first course in the CCNA curriculum. And what it does is that it introduces the architect modules, protocols, and networking elements that connect users, devices, applications, and data through internet and across modern network, computer network, including IP addressing and Ethernet fundamentals. That is what this particular model covers. And by the end of the model, we should be able to build some simple local area network, all right, uh, that integrates IP addressing scheme. So we're also going to look at the fundamentals of network security, and we're also going to perform basic configuration for routers and switches, okay? Within this particular course, we have 17 modules, 
all right? We have 24 hands-on labs and activities that we're going to be doing. We're going to have 31 packet tracer activities that we are going to be engaging on. We're going to be having 36 videos that we're going to use to supplement our, our online lectures. We're going to have 10 syntax checkers, 13 interactive activities, 64 CYU quizzes, and then 17 model exams. All right, these are some of the things that we are going to be looking at. Now, who are the people that we are targeting? We are targeting secondary vocational students, uh, two-year and four-year college students in networking and engineering. We are targeting entrepreneurs, people who want to change their career path and start into networking to get a skills. We are targeting um, network administrators, people who have recently been employed in certain industries that IT industry that they need some basic skills to do basic network maintenance. We are targeting uh, potential instructors, people who are going to be teachers, who are going to be instructors. We are targeting lecturers. So this course covers a wide range of people, wide variety of areas. And so um, within the course, we're going to be looking at module one that talks about networking today. Module one, module two, and module three are within the same group of understanding, which is basic connectivity and communication. Basic connectivity and communication. So module one, we'll be looking at networking today. Module two, basic switch and end device configuration. Module three, we'll be looking at pro protocol models. All right, we have reference models, um, we have OSI models. We're going to be talking about all of them, all right? But they are actually the basic connectivity and communication. So they give us the fundamentals in order to go into it. Model four, five, six, and seven actually talks about the ethernet concepts. We're going to be looking at the physical layer, the number system will do a little bit of calculations, but very, very interesting. We're going to be looking at the data link layer. We're going to be understanding what is Ethernet switching. It is what we're going to look at. And all of them are under the Ethernet concepts. Then module eight, nine, and 10 talks about communication between networks. And so we're going to be looking at the network layer. What is this network layer? What does it comprise? What are the devices that run at the network layer? And what role does it have to? We are also going to be looking at the IP packet header and things like that. We are going to be looking at module 10, address resolution uh, uh, protocol or address resolution. What is address resolution? When we talk about DNS, when we talk about uh, ARP, what are they? We're also going to be looking at basic router configuration. We're going to be doing a lot of labs here, um, some packet tracer and hands-on activity to see how we can configure our routers. What are the essential elements that we need when we are configuring any router? What are those basic things that you need? Every router must have. That's what we'll be looking at module 10. Module 11, 12, and 13, we'll be looking at IP addressing. Wow. I tell you, this is a very, um, well, interesting part. Some people think it's a very scary, uh, but I don't think, I think it's a very interesting part. Reason? Because there is absolutely no way you can talk about networking without dealing with IP addressing. And here, we're going to see how we have simplified how we can simplify the concept of IP addressing. Le module 11 will tell us the IP version 4 addressing. Module 12 will tell us IP version 6 addressing. We're going to be looking at the differences between the two. What is IP version 4? What is IP version 6? What are the similarities? What are the differences? When do we use version 4? When do I have to use version 6? Then module 13, we'll be looking at ICMP. All right, ICMP is a protocol that has to do with verification of the end-to-end -end connectivity of devices. So we're going to be looking at that particular protocol in detail. Model 14 and 15 is going to be dealing with network application communications, particularly the transport layer and the firewall layer. 
Now, guys, ladies, let me tell you what, when you have an interest in network security, then you need to pay attention to especially the transport layer and uh, to some level application layer, but mostly the transport layer. And so when you are talking about network security, this is the, the, the basics that we need to know for, for you to work on it. Then module 16 is talking and 17 is talking about building and securing a small network. So network security fundamentals, uh, it has its link with transport layer, and then we have building a small network. So you see the entire module here um, is going to be packed with different concepts, all right? The concepts that we need to give us the necessary fundamentals or foundation for us to be able to understand uh, CCNA one. Now, like I said earlier on, the CCNA version seven course gives us three modules. CCNA one, which is introduction to network, is this one that we have just looked at today. And then CCNA two, of which I have made videos on, you can check my channel and then access most of the videos, is going to be talking about routing and switching, uh, switching, routing and wireless essentials. We were able to look at it in detail, basic device configuration, switching concepts, VLAN, inter-VLAN routing, uh, spanning tree protocol, ether channel, uh, DHCP version four, Slack and DHCP version six concept, um, first hop redundancy protocol concepts, LAN security concepts, switch security configurations, wireless local area network concepts, wireless LAN configuration, routing concepts, IP static routing, troubleshooting static and default route. We looked at it. So we have a whole series of this particular module. So you can check uh, the channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like I said earlier, and uh, click like now. You can do that now so that you get all these updates. Now, I'm also working on CNA3, which is enterprise networking security and automation. Uh, we have started uh, that particular session and we have gone far. Uh, for all those who have subscribed, I'm sure you have been getting notification about the videos we have done. So we have single area network uh, OSPF. We have done also single area OSPF version two configuration. We've done wireless LAN, uh, wider area network concepts, network security concepts, access list um, concepts, access list for IP version four, uh, network address translation for IP version 4, uh, VPN, IP6 concepts, quality of service concepts, network management, network design, network troubleshooting, network virtualization, network automa automation. Now, this ones, these topics that you see we have highlighted in blue uh, are uh, topics that have significantly changed content. We have significantly changed the content. And uh, even if you have knowledge on this, you need to, to take a look at the courses again, uh, because the content have changed for both CCNA2 and CCNA3, OK? So that is what we have. Now, in course of the lesson, uh, the course, we are going to be looking at some quizzes to check our understanding of the topic. We have some equipment that um, we are going to be looking at. Between version six and version seven, there are certain equipment that, uh, lab equipment that we have updated, okay? So for instance, we have updated, we have added the wireless router, small home, small office, home office uh, wireless router. We have added it as part of the devices we're going to be looking at. We have also added uh, packet tracers for uh, new topologies. We have created new topologies for packet tracers activities uh, in version seven. All right. Um, uh, the small office, home office Wi-Fi router is also back in version seven. In version six, we've observed that it has not been there, but we have brought it back. And um, we're going to be doing the configuration in, in GUI, that's GUI. Uh, we're going to configure the wireless LAN and wireless encryption. We're going to also configure um, 
home uh, network with wireless and things like that. All right, so like I said, we have a lot of things to look at and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click like so that you will get updated videos as I upload. Thank you very much and uh, looking forward to having a great time with you. Have a great day. Ciao.